So this video is going to be about VimWiki. VimWiki is a really cool plugin uh, that you can put into Vim, and it makes a wiki. Now, with a bunch of the other plugins I have from LARBs and, in general, dealing with Markdown, you know, the compiler to make it into a PDF, and now with uh, VimWiki and Markdown Preview, it's just a really great system for creating documents and basically a giant wiki page of all of your knowledge. So, what do you need to make this happen? So, if I go to my VimRC, you're going to need uh, this package, VimWiki, and the GitHub is VimWiki. So, VimWiki is really cool because it'll make you a directory in your home directory. And in here, all you need to do is put an index.markdown file. It works with markdown files, but you do index. And what the cheat code I'm using is um, I never want to have to search for my index file, and I don't want to have to activate it from the command line only. It's like, what if I want to use VIFM like I am here? Um, I made index. The first letter is capitalized, so it is the first file at the top, and every other uh, file is lowercase, so it's always going to be lower. So when I open up index, you'll see I have just these large like heading areas. I haven't really filled this in too much because you know I just haven't gotten to it yet. But I have all of these areas, and uh, um, each of these is a link. Now in Markdown, you can have links to all kinds of stuff. You can have links to um, other documents in your computer, and you can have links to um, external URLs. Um, but what VimWiki does is it takes these URLs, um, like this one, HTML5. I have some notes on HTML5. And you just see it has a document named HTML5. That's all it is. It's just a link to that document. So when I hit Enter, and here's the power of VimWiki, if I hit enter on these links, it'll actually take me to that link. You can see the file path down here is VimWiki and then HTML5. Um, now I have other stuff on HTML5 because I have nested things. Now if I want to go back, I can hit backspace. It takes me back up here. So let's just say that HTML5 is a, you know, a subject with a lot of stuff. And so this is just like, all right, here I'm in my technology header. And I got some stuff on programming, and then here's a language. I'm gonna go into that language. And now, if I just had all my notes here, that might not be, you know, I got a lot of notes on different things. There's a lot of stuff about a language, so I might go and have different, you know, notes from different days, different subject materials. But I got nested documents. So if I now go into these notes, somehow, do 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 do. Hmm, not sure what it's doing there. But if I went to um, one of my notes and here's one, and it'll take me into them. And so then I have all my notes on this language and whatever I want to look at. And I can even have you know external URLs like this one. And so that'll open and it opens up the web page. There we go. Now I can backspace all the way back to the front, and that's it. So that's really cool. I can have this um, nested to the millionth degree wiki document that has all of my subject matter stuff that I want to look at, and it's all conveniently located. Now, how do we make all these relative files? It sounds like a lot of setup. It's not. So if I went into um, my VimWiki page right here, and let's just say um, there's nothing in here named test. So you can see that there's nothing in here. So um, let's do test. All right. So now it's just a piece of text. So what? What does that do? But here's the thing. When you have a piece of text right here, and I'm in normal mode, if I hit Enter, it turns it into a link. If I go over here, still nothing named test. But when I enter that, you know, it says test MD. So I have my markdown document, still nothing in here. But when I put something in here, 
save the document, that is when it will actually create it. Now, let's do something different. Backspace. Let's change this file pathway to a directory. Let's just say we have a test directory and we put a slash and then we have this test file. Uh, so it'll be a markdown document named test in the test directory. Now, if you can see here, I don't have any directories in here, but if you still wanted your file separated by directory, uh, which this you don't really need to because it's all laid out here, um, unless you're gonna look for, if you, if you wanna do it that way, you could. I think it's a little bit extra more, more extra work. Um, and this is perfectly adequate for my needs. But if you want to do this, you could actually do directories to hold your notes. But power of Vimwiki is you don't have to do that. You don't have to organize anything. You just put it in the wiki and you follow the paths. Um, but let's say we want to add that. All right, let's see what happens. Ah, we don't have that directory. So it says, do you want to make that directory? Vimwiki slash test. Yes, we do. Here we go. Here's a file. Now there's probably nothing in there because we haven't saved the file yet. If I insert some text, save it. Okay, we've written the file. So then when I go up to the test directory, oh, there's our markdown document. Now it's doing this because I have it open in the other one. But let's go backspace. There we go. That's it. So VimWiki is really cool and I really like it because it's a way of having all of your notes in a single location, but you have a wiki type document. You can break it down into larger to smaller subject group areas. And I really appreciate that. So all I had to do was install this plugin and now I have VimWiki. So what I did with, uh, with this is that now, since I have these documents, I can also do um, leader C, so comma C for me anyways, to have these documents compiled um, to PDF, so then I can do leader P to preview it, and there's the document. Now I can also do uh, leader A for autocompiler, leader P to preview it, and I can go over here, and and then we can also have this with our VimWiki documents. I think this is really cool. So I really love VimWiki. Um, I use it at home and I even found a way to jerry-rig it to work on a Windows system. So um, Windows, I don't like using Vim on Windows very much, but I found a way to make it work with NerdTree and VimWiki and whatnot. So it's somewhat functional and not terrible but I do love Vim and I do love this uh, Vim wiki. So I really recommend this. I love doing this for note taking and just general information hoarding of whatever you need to, to know. Um, yeah, use Vim wiki. That's all. Peace.